Hello everybody, this is DJ Rayban. By a small demand I will make a video where I show you how to set up Traktor with the Denon DJ X1850 mixer. Let's get started. And before we begin, most of these steps are the same for any mixer out there. So step one is maybe the most uh, crucial and the one most people forget, I believe. You need to check if you need to download some uh, drivers for your uh, equipment. If you go to denondj.com and downloads, you will see here there is a Windows driver and there is a firmware update. Sometimes these need to be updated at the same time to be comparable with each other. So uh, download these and uh, make the firmware update and install the Windows driver. When you are done with uh, the driver downloads and the firmware updates, we can go ahead and connect the mixer to your computer. On the X1850 you have a switch up top showing USB 1 or USB 2. Set that to your corresponding USB sound card you are using. Then let's start Traktor. In the preferences and audio setup you need to choose Denon DJ X1850 Prime ASIO. It's usually afterwards if you are on Windows. There is also something uh, was Wasapi exclusive but we don't want that. There's a shared mode too. We don't want that. We want the ASIO. Or if you are on Mac it may be not say ASIO. You have to yeah, pick one and see what happens. After that we need to go to output routing, we need to put the mixing mode to external and uh, the channel strips on the mixer is usually 1, 2, 3, 4 and they are stereo so it means 1 and 2 on channel 1, 3 and 4 on channel 2 and so on. So on uh, in tractor you want 3, 4 on deck A, if you want deck A to be on channel 2. 5, 6 on deck B, if you want deck B to be on channel 3. Output C and D here are on the same because I have uh, done something, but I want uh, deck C to be on channel 1 now, so I put these on out 1 and out 2. Let's uh, close the preferences now. Let's uh, engage the X1 Mark II. Pick some track. And yeah, don't forget to set your input selector to USB. Now if you are on any version of uh, Traktor Pro 2 still, Traktor Scratch Pro 2, this is as uh, far as you'll go. To use timecode you need to have a Scratch certified mixer with Traktor Pro 2 or Traktor Scratch Pro 2. And uh, the X1850 ain't uh, Scratch certified. If you are on Traktor Pro 3, on the other hand, it is open for any sound card, sound interface. So if you want uh, timecode usage, you will go to input routing in the settings. The same uh, 
inputs as you put on the output routings. So 3, 4 on deck A, 5, 6 on deck B. I will also put my deck C here now to 1, 2 for a little bonus shortly. Now if we put the input selector to DVS we will start to have uh, input, sending input to tractor. And it is as easy as that. Now to the little bonus I was uh, mentioning. This uh, mixer don't have any send and return via USB. A little workaround is uh, to have uh, these quarter inch to RCA cables. So you simply put the quarter inches into the send port. And you put the RCAs into a channel. As I said, this is a workaround. So you will be sacrificing one channel. So now with the send to a channel, if we put this channel to DVS, we will have input from the mixer into tractor. So let me, for example, put my FX2 to a reverb. This is my X1 mapping to control uh, effects in a special fashion. I also have uh, the buttons to control gains. So uh, let's have a look at see how this does. Another, another thing you might uh, consider to check if you have any problems is you go into the utility, you go into advanced audio, you go to DVS setup. Here you can choose uh, your channels 1 to 4. If you go to channel 2 here for example you have to you can change to from line to phono. Phono is if you are using turntables and DVS vinyl. Line is uh, usually media players. So what this means is you can't use the digital inputs on the mixer for DVS. Another thing to note on the X1850 is you can assign different input channels from the mix from tractor to any channel. Say for channel 2 for example, we can have the same input on channel 2 as channel 3. We have output level here too. This is what uh, this is the level that will send to tractor. 
goes up to plus 20 decibels. Now we have a really strong signal into Tractor. But I find that it is working on 0 decibels with a very low input to Tractor. Below that we have a channel input level. I got mine to plus 10. This is the input from Tractor. If I increase this you see on the LEDs here that the volume increases too. And if I lower from 10 you will uh, get lower signal. And uh, that's pretty much to it. Alright y'all, that's how easy it is to set up the Denon DJ X1850 with tractor. And remember, the steps are quite the same for any mixer out there. My XO96 mixer, for example, is uh, quite exactly the same. You go to the Allen & Heat website, you download the driver, and you hook it up. You start Tractor, and you start routing the channels in Tractor. And then it's good to go. Okay, people, that was it for today. I'll see you in another video. Peace.